is such and the question we have here reads without a mathematical table or a calculator simplify the following giving your answer in rationalized sun form so the first thing we are going to do here is to express the values 300 120 330 and 405 as their acute equivalence so to achieve that we are going to use the unit circle so for a unit circle all the ratios in the first quadrant are positive and the angle is acute so theta a is acute and in the second quadrant remember we are reading anti-clockwise so in the second quadrant we have sine being positive the rest are negative so that here the acute value is obtained by simply having 180 minus the angle given so that will give us theta which is the acute angle and then in the third quadrant we have the tangent the tangent only is positive while the rest are negative so we have the angle minus 180 that should give us the acute angle theta and here we have it's only cosine that is positive while the rest are negative so we're going to have 360 minus the angle that should give us the acute angle we are looking for so with the help of the unit circle we are going to rewrite cosine of 300 so this part here cosine of 300 that should be given us so 300 falls in the fourth quadrant so 300 is the x so we are simply going to have 360 minus 300 so that should give us cosine of 60. next we also have sine of 120 so 120 lies in the second quadrant so in the second quadrant we are going to have 180 minus the angle so that that should be 180 minus 120 so we are going to have sine 60. so remember 300 was lying in this quadrant here and here cosine is positive so that's why we ended up with a positive value and for sine 120 lies in the second quadrant so the sine is positive there so that's why we have positive sine 60 and we also have 330 so for cosine of 330 again we have that in the fourth quadrant so the cosine is positive there so we simply have cosine of 360 minus x so that is 360 minus 330 so that should give us cosine of 30. And finally, for sine of 405, so for angle 405, so this is greater than 360, so that means in one revolution we've gone through 360, and in the second revolution we have added another angle on top of it, so we obtain the angle by simply subtracting 360 continuously from 405 until we get the angle that lies between 0 and 360 so for this case 405 minus 360 already is 45 so that means you're going to have sine of 45 45 already is an acute angle so that means it lies the first quadrant where all the ratios are positive, so the sign there is positive. So these are the values we are going to replace in the equation. So we have cosine of 300 becoming cosine of 60, sorry. So we have cosine of 60 
times sine 120, that is sine 60, all over cosine of 330, so that is cosine of 30, minus sine of 4, 5, that is sine of 45. And from here, we see that the angle 60, 30, and 45 are special angles, which because in the equation we are required not to work out using a mathematical table or a calculator, then we'll go for these triangles here to help us get their values. So we have an equilateral triangle whose sides are 2, 2, and then if you have perpendicular bisector of the base from this vertex, so that it bisects the base. The base is also two, so here is one, here is one. And here is 60, here is 60, the whole of this is 60, but for this angle here we have 30, here also 30. And the height of this triangle, so consider the right angle triangle here, so its height using Pythagoras theorem should be the square root of three. So that means Cosine of 60 will be cosine is adjacent, so consider this right angle triangle. So cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse, so adjacent is 1, hypotenuse is 2, so cosine of 60 is replaced by adjacent over hypotenuse times sine of 60, so that is opposite. So you come at angle 60 and say opposite over hypotenuse, that is for sine so that we have root 3 over 2. That is for the numerator. And then for the denominator, cosine of 30, so we come at angle 30, and then you say cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse, so adjacent here is root 3, and hypotenuse is 2, minus sine 45, so for 45, we are going to use this triangle, so we have an isosceles triangle. An isosceles right angle triangle, so that here is 90, and here is 45, 45, here is 1, 1. By Pythagoras theorem, the hypotenuse should be the square root of 2. So that now getting the sine of 45, sine 45 is opposite over hypotenuse, and that is 1 over root 2. So remember, all along we've been using Socator, so let me write here. Socator, which sine is opposite of hypotenuse, cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse, and tangent is opposite over adjacent. So we were not given tangent in the equation, so we didn't use it. So we are going to simplify this problem in a way that we can work it out with a lot of ease. So on the denominator, we are going to multiply by 4 root 2, of which 4 root 2 will be the LCM for both the denominators for these lower fractions and the denominators for the upper fractions. So up here, a half times root 3 over 2, that is root 3 over 4. And here we have 2 and root 2. So the LCM of those values is 4 root 2. So that's the factor that I'll multiply the denominator and the numerator. So from here, the numerator should simplify to so 2 by 2 is 4, 4 and 4 will cancel so that we have root 6. So that implies root 6 on the numerator. And then on the denominator we have root 3 over 2 times 4 root 2, so that is 2 
root 6 and then minus 1 over root 2 times 4 root 2 that is 4. So at this particular point we can simplify by multiplying the denominator and the numerator by the conjugate of the denominator. So the conjugate of the denominator is 2 root 6 plus 4. So the numerator also will multiply by the same factor. So for the denominator, this is a difference of two squares. So that should be simple. So we're going to have 2 root 6 squared minus 4 squared. And for the numerator, we are going to expand, open the bracket so that we have root 6 times 2 root 6, so that is 2 times 6, which is 12, plus root 6 times 4, so that is 4 root 6. So what you are going to have will be 12 plus 4 root 6, all over... 2 root 6 squared, so that means we square 2 and square root 6, so that is 2 times, or rather 2 squared is 4, root 6 squared is 6, so 4 times 6, that is 24, minus 4 squared, we have 16. So we are going to have, sorry, we are going to have 12 plus 4 root 6, all over 8 and next we are going to have 12 divided by 8 plus 4 over 8 root 6 and in simplified form this should be 1 and a half plus a half root 6 and that finally is the answer to this problem so thanks for your patience thank you for watching see you next time